Good day, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Prepare for a chilling revelation, France, known for its grandeur, is now facing catastrophic floods. Paris, the city of lights, is submerged in an unprecedented deluge, with boulevards transformed into rivers and landmarks waterlogged. This disaster is a divine warning, showcasing God's wrath upon a sinful world. As the city braced for the Olympics, torrential rains and a rare tornado unleashed chaos, leaving devastation in their wake. This tempest has raised profound questions for believers. Is this merely nature's fury, or does it carry deeper spiritual significance? As the waters surged, many looked to the heavens for answers. In the book of Matthew, Jesus warned of signs in the last days, famines, earthquakes, and pestilences. Could this storm signify divine displeasure and the foretold end times? The world watched in horror as images of Paris's devastation spread globally. Once a symbol of human achievement, the city now serves as a backdrop for a divine drama. Believers see this as a reminder of life's fragility and the urgent need for repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. The storm echoes prophetic warnings, urging awareness of the coming day of judgment and redemption. In the aftermath of the floods, as the waters recede and the damage becomes apparent, the world stands at a crossroads. Rebuilding Paris is a monumental task, but the spiritual implications are even greater. Will humanity heed this warning and turn to God, acknowledging our need for His mercy? Believers reflect on the sorrow for lost lives and homes but also find hope in the opportunity for spiritual renewal. This disaster calls us to seek God with renewed fervor and share His message of love and salvation. The question of whether this was God's punishment invites deep reflection. The storm may be a divine invitation to seek shelter from both physical and spiritual storms. Humanity faces a monumental era, a great tribulation foretold in Scripture due to rampant sin. The book of Nahum warns of God's fury, while Jeremiah describes a storm of wrath against the wicked. In the New Testament, Paul cautions that unrepentance leads to God's judgment, manifesting through plagues and disasters. These events fulfill ancient prophecies and signify a time of unprecedented distress. Despite these dire warnings, the Bible offers hope. Isaiah invites the faithful to find refuge from God's wrath, emphasizing that the tribulation serves as a process of purification and judgment. Joel urges a return to God with heartfelt repentance, reminding us of His grace and compassion. This call to repentance is urgent, offering a path to redemption amid looming divine judgment. In this time of moral decline and spiritual apathy, the message of the Great Tribulation becomes increasingly urgent. As we approach this pivotal moment, the Bible's warnings call for repentance and faith. The Great Tribulation, with its vivid depictions of divine wrath, highlights the seriousness of sin and the need to turn back to God. While it is a time of reckoning, it also offers hope, showcasing God's righteousness and redemptive plan. Amid chaos, believers find assurance in God's unwavering love and the promise of His eternal kingdom. Faith in Jesus Christ is central to Christianity. The Bible clearly states that believing in Jesus is the only way to escape God's impending wrath and the trials of the Great Tribulation. This faith is not just a religious notion, it is essential for salvation and eternal communion with God. As John 14 verse 6 declares, Jesus is the way and the truth and the life, emphasizing the exclusivity of salvation through Him. In a world on the brink of divine judgment, this message urges everyone to embrace the redemption that Jesus offers. The Apostle Paul, in Romans, contrasts the consequences of sin with the promise of salvation, for the wages of sin is death, 
but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Sin leads to death and separation from God, but through Jesus, eternal life is freely given to all who believe. The horrors of the Great Tribulation are vividly described in Revelation, where John shares apocalyptic visions of suffering and divine retribution. Yet, believers find reassurance in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 9, which promises that God has not destined them for wrath but for salvation through Jesus. This assurance anchors their hope, even amid impending doom. The urgency of salvation through Jesus recurs in the New Testament. In Acts 16 verse 31, Paul and Silas proclaim, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. This highlights the immediate nature of salvation for those who have faith in Christ, stemming from his sacrificial death and resurrection, which breaks the chains of sin and offers eternal life. Believing in Jesus also secures an eternal relationship with God. In John 10 verses 28 to 29, Jesus reassures his followers that no one can snatch them from his hand, providing profound comfort and strength. This promise signifies that their salvation is protected by God's power, unaffected by external forces. The guarantee of eternal life is further elaborated in Revelation, where John describes the ultimate destiny of the redeemed. God's dwelling among his people will bring an end to sorrow and suffering, ushering in an everlasting reality filled with his glory. This vision assures believers that the pains of this world will be replaced by the joy of God's eternal presence. The gravity of God's wrath and the great tribulation cannot be overstated. The Bible uses powerful language to highlight the urgency of repentance and the reality of divine judgment. Prophets like Isaiah and Jeremiah warned of the consequences of forsaking God's ways. In Isaiah 13 verse 9, he proclaims, See, the day of the Lord is coming, a cruel day, with wrath and fierce anger to make the land desolate and destroy the sinners within it. Such warnings remind us that God's judgment is both righteous and inevitable. In the New Testament, Jesus warns of the coming tribulation, emphasizing the need for salvation. The path to escape this fate is through faith in him. John 3 verse 36 states, Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on them. This verse highlights the choice between eternal life through belief in Jesus or enduring God's wrath through rejection of Him. Believers are therefore called to live with unwavering faith and hope. Their belief in Jesus not only assures immediate salvation but empowers them to face life's trials. Romans 8 verse 1 proclaims, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, affirming the transformative power of faith. However, for those who reject Christ, the rapture signifies a missed opportunity, sealing their fate outside of God's grace. Dying before Jesus' second coming carries profound theological implications. The Bible teaches that physical death is a transition to the afterlife. Hebrews 9 verse 27 says, Just as people are destined to die once, and after that to face judgment. For those who die without accepting Jesus, their opportunity for grace ends at death, leading to certain judgment. This underscores the urgency of accepting the gospel while there's still time. Conversely, those who die in Christ have their eternal destiny secured, they will rise at the rapture, resurrected to meet the Lord. This assurance offers a glimpse of eternal hope. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians describes this transformation, Listen, I tell you a mystery, we will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. This promise of resurrection and change provides profound comfort to believers. The end of the period of grace and the beginning of the 70th week signal the fulfillment of God's prophetic timeline. The events of the tribulation, D 
detailed in Revelation, will unfold precisely, culminating in Jesus Christ's return as King and Judge. Revelation 19 verses 11 to 16 depicts this triumphant return, I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice, he judges and wages war. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in the next videos. Goodbye.